On this episode of All Aboard TV, we're going somewhere we've never been before. A small ship adventure cruise on the Amazon River in South America with international expeditions. I'm Rob Stewart. And I'm his wife, Carrie, and we're professional cruisers. And yes, that is a real job. We spent over 100 nights at sea. We even got married on a cruise ship. It's our favorite way to travel. And when it comes to vacations, nothing is better than cruising. We've cruised all over the world, from Alaska to the Mediterranean and the Caribbean, and we're pretty good at packing for those trips. This one's completely different. We're gonna cruise the Amazon River in South America. So we have a packing list for this one, and we had almost nothing on this list, so we knew there was one place to go, and that's Bill Jacks and Shop for Adventure. We wanted to make sure we were getting the right things on the packing list International Expeditions gave us, so we met up with Brandt, who helped us find the perfect gear. Right at the top of our list was insect repellent, and here at Bill Jackson Shop for Adventure, they use a local company based right here in Tampa Bay, and it's called Sawyer. So tell us a little bit about that. Oh, it's a great company. We've been uh, dealers of theirs for a long time. Uh, they deal in uh, insect repellents and water treatment. Any of the exposed skin, then you would take care of with a topical. Mm -hmm. You all have camera equipment. Yes. And you don't want to damage it. So uh, no. the, the go to would be DEET. Right. But DEET will melt parts of your camera. And which is bad. Which is bad. Uh, but there is a mm -hmm. product called Brickeridin that will work and it will not harm your gear. For the Amazon, we learned that you want light and breathable clothing to protect you from the sun and bugs, comfortable shoes and socks, and a hat, but also comfortable clothes and flip-flops for the evening happy hours. We can't thank the staff here enough here at Bill Jackson's. I feel way more comfortable. The list was a little intimidating, and they helped us go through the list, get exactly what we needed, and now we're set for our Amazon River Cruise with International Expeditions. We took our own advice from our book, Just Add Water, and arrived a day early. This left us completely rested for our first excursion. Our first day started with a guided tour of Lima. This city is located between the foothills of the Andes and the shores of the Pacific Ocean, only 12 degrees south of the equator. The seat of the present-day government is located right on the square. This is also the place where you can visit the remains of Lima's founder, Francisco Pizarro, in a glass-walled coffin. Lima is also home to several museums, and international expeditions even included a special exclusive tour for us. This home has been lived in by the Aliaga family and their descendants for 17 generations. Just walking through this home, you can experience both the colonial and Republican history of the city of Lima. From Lima, we headed on a flight to Iquitos, a city that can only be reached by air or water. Our first view of the Estrella Amazonica got us excited. The rooms were spacious and there was plenty of storage for our luggage, even with all of our camera gear. We had more than enough room. International expeditions took us up the Amazon and over to the Ucayali River, and after a good night's sleep, we headed out on our first excursion. We weren't sure what to expect, but our guide quickly taught us what to look for. And after the first day, we were feeling great about this adventure travel. It's only day one and we have already seen so much wildlife. Including a monkey, a sloth, and some amazing birds. Let's check it out. International Expedition's Amazon River Tour covers more than 600 miles on the Amazon and its tributaries. For those of you that like hiking and would like to trek through the Amazon rainforest, you have to make sure that you travel here during the dry season. Our guide during the hike 
not only is he an Amazon expert, he was born here. So he was telling us stories of his ancestors and how some of them were affected by the rubber industry. He even showed us an actual rubber tree and explained how rubber was made. We've just entered the Pacaya Samiria National Reserve. We're doing a nighttime excursion here with International Expeditions. We've just checked into the ranger station and let me tell you, this place is gigantic. It is two and a half times the size of Yellowstone Park in the U.S. and about the same size as the entire country of Belgium. We saw some of the most spectacular sunsets and got up close with the nightlife in the rainforest. Next week, we're going to take you to a local village, visit a shaman, and go fishing for a piranha with a stick. Carrie even ate one. <laughs>